Hotel Poo. All praises to the Makut and the Neck of Roof for everything you do and making all my dreams and wishes come true. I love you. We're back with another more worse for exclusive. You know what I'm talking about? In this video, we're going to be revealing the identity as well as the return of Charlotte Sophia. You understand? Queen Charlotte. And we also going to do our due diligence. You understand? We're going to aid and assist Justine Jones. Right, the new town manager of Kenley, North Carolina. You understand? I, an entire <clears throat> North Carolina police department resigned after a black woman town manager was hired. You see? The mass exodus of an entire police department after the hiring of a black town manager. Hmm, North Carolina, small town. Not too many people, not even 2,000 people. All right, Justine Jones. All right, they resigned because of a hostile work environment. As we read, on, come down. They the whole damn police department. Just up and walk the fuck out. Hmm. Okay, this is the police chief. Who's that, Gibson? What's his name, Josh Gibson? Is that his name? What the hell is his name? Uh, Josh Gibson, there we go. This is the reason he gives. He says she came in, first of all, to start giving us tasks and all these projects all the time. And unfortunately... We are, we only have five officers and I was working double shifts at the time to try to keep up officer safety and be there with the officers in case something happened. All right. So he says she wrote his ass up for being late and all kind of other shit, you know, keeping his ass in line. You know, she wrote me up for things, talking to businesses, where have you. You know, now he has been the police chief for 20 damn years. You understand? And you got a black woman coming in, you know, pushing your ass around. You know, as a man, especially as a white man, you know, we all know how these things go. Now, she just been in since June 2nd, right? And as the manager, she was appointed by the council by the city council. She was not elected by the people. You know what I'm saying? You don't elect the a, a, a city manager. We're going to get to that. You understand? She has 16 years of work experience. Boom. Is it a race issue? Right? Brittany Henry, a candidate resident, says she feels the situation is a race issue, given that Jones is black while the entire Kenley Police Department is white. Henry also says she doesn't think the police... Department supports black people and she feels they often harass black residents. Wow. I feel like they don't want a black woman over top of them, basically managing them or telling them what to do, Henny said. Wow. Studies show people and organizations often think black women are more likely <clears throat> to have angry personalities, with studies also suggesting that this negative perception is unique is a unique occurrence for black women, according to Harvard Business Law. No, you don't damn say. Angry black women. Hmm. And you got other people that feel a little different. You know, they say they never had problems with the police. And, you know, then they say the last police chief, or not police chief, but the last city manager, the town manager, was a black man. All right? There we go. So others in the community say, they believe there is not a racial component to the situation due to the fact the previous town manager was a black man. Right? Some residents also caution against jumping to conclusions. Hmm. Say they always had a good relationship with the police. Hmm. Well, I guess it just depends. Depends on <clears throat> what side of the fence you're on. Understand? 
Others say race and gender may have been a part. You know. More to the story, the whole damn police department up and left. And we want to talk about a few things and learn a few things along the way. Right? It's another look at it, another article. They've been talking about this shit the past, what? For a minute. About two weeks. Right? North Carolina town lost his police chief a week and a half. Boom. Just hired last month. Right? Same thing. Now, this is what they didn't, they didn't tell us. Right? This is what we have to look into. Say so WRA also learned that Jones sued her previous employer in Richland County, South Carolina for gender and racial discrimination after she was fired in 2015. She alleged hostile treatment by county leaders in retaliation for reporting bad behavior. The lawsuit was voluntarily dismissed. Wow, that's crazy. So she already got a history of dealing with racist shit and, you know, our people anyway, we just been dealing with that anyway, so this is no surprise, you know, whether it was racial or not, you know, we know the pecking order in this motherfucker, you know what I mean, we know how things go down, you understand, now even if the last town manager was a black man, you know what I'm saying, we know white men are, you know, in, 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 in some ways, you know, a little bit more acceptable, accepting, you understand, of a black man than the black woman. It just depends on what you're talking about, you know what I mean? When you're talking about manly shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, military, you know, what may have you, you know what I'm saying? Why we think a woman never ran the country yet? You know, as the commander in chief of the armed forces, you know, white folk don't do shit like that. They don't get down like that. You know, they ain't got no Queen Makeda, no goddamn, you know what I mean? None of these, you know, African queens, warrior queens we had, you know what I mean? And what have you. So they don't even get down like that. They don't do shit like that, you know. But, you know, having a black woman come in, you know what I mean? And and talking about progressive shit, you know what I'm saying? You've been there 20 some years, you know, two decades, you know what I mean? We can see, you know. We see what's going on. You see? It's a hostile work environment. I do not feel we can perform our duties and services to the community. He's the longest running chief in the area. Hmm. Twenty years. You know, we don't fuck with the police no way, so we don't give a damn. But, you know, they they had a nationwide search to, 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 to find her, you know what I'm saying? They picked her out of a group of candidates, you know, from several states. And they chose her in particular, you know what I mean, because of, because of her history and things. You know, the release did not mention, however, she had sued a previous employer in neighboring South Carolina for racial discrimination after she was fired in March 2015. Right? She accused Richland County leaders of hostile treatment and for not paying her fairly because she was black and had a disability, court doc show. She also accused the county of discriminating against her because she was a whistleblower who reported serious fraud, wrongdoing, and violations of the law. Right, the lawsuit was voluntary dismissed April 2017. Right, and she's also a CEO, right, of her own company, Word of Mouth Real Time. Right, now not only she's her own CEO, but she's also the CEO of this town. You understand? The city manager, the town manager, is actually the CEO. Yeah, I mean, we're going to get to that. This is Justine Jones. 
You know what I'm saying? Miss Justine, who is the new town manager of Kenley, North Carolina. You understand? Now, when we look at the meaning of Justine, right, it means fair and just, right, derived from justice, righteous, you understand? Justin, Justiana, in Latin, you know what I mean? So, this is what her name means, right? This brings me here. Lady Justice, you know what I mean? An allegorical personification of the moral force in judicial systems. Her attributes are scales, a sword, and sometimes a blindfold. You understand? Justilia, Lady Justice. You see? The personification of justice, balancing the scales, dates back to the goddess Mayat and later Isis of ancient Egypt. You understand? This is Lady Justice. See the scale? See the blindfold? See the sword? You understand? That's the justice system of America, family, which comes from Mayat. Right? Balance, truth, justice, divine law. You understand? Boom, scale of my yacht. Wearing of the arb or the heart ceremony in the hall of my yacht. You understand? Also called the hall of truths, hall of two truths. You understand? This is from the book of coming forward by Dan Knight, Papers of a Knee. So we see Justine, you understand? Or justice in our ancestors' mind. Now, this is a city manager, you understand? An appointed official who directs the administration of a city. Right? The administrative manager and a council manager form of city government or municipal government. Now, that's what we call a CEO, you understand? The chief executive officer. Now, we come here to the assistant manager what we have to understand family about the word assistant right and manager right we'll come back to manager the root word is man right typically a aged man a man ager you understand or an older man or a mayor a senior major you understand an older man whose assistant is a younger woman, right? The word assistant, we just want to come to the images, right? Of an assistant manager. And we will see what the ideal of an assistant is, you understand? The assistant is always depicted as a woman more often than not, you know what I'm saying? Of course, we got males, you know, then we got female managers, you understand, as we can see, you know, with Justine Jones. But the archetype of the assistant is the woman, you understand? The servant or the minister, the administer, right? That's where we get the word menstrual, menstrual cycle, right? It was a servant, you can see, she's the administer to the man. Right, even when we look at a principal, assistant principal or vice principal to the principal, which is the main, right, or the head, the main is man, you understand? The lion's main, you see? Boom, we see a woman. Damn near every pizza. We ain't seen a man yet. You see one right there. You see? Boom. Ast. This is an abbreviation for assistant. Which is also the name of Wasiti. My G. You understand? Aset. Also known as Isis. By the Greeks. You see? Wusa, 
right? That's Marotic. That's in Sudan. You understand? Wusa or Wasiti. Yasiti. You understand? The woman. Right? Boom. This is a town. Larger than a village, smaller than a city. You see? The one to come down. The definition of town is a garden. It comes from tomb. Old English, enclosed piece of land. Right? It's just a larger village. You see? But smaller than a city. Now, a city is a large town. You understand? But we also want to take note here. An incorporated municipal center. Right? An incorporated municipal center. What does incorporated mean? Right? A city. Right? Where am I, Z? Incorporation is a business. Right? To incorporate means to take in or contain as part of a whole. You understand? But it also means, my G, to constitute as a legal corporation. You understand? An incorporated municipal center. Right? So a city is a business. Every city is a business. You understand? These are the two major forms of municipal government. You got the mayor council, we got the council manager. You understand? Uh, which still involves the mayor, but there's an addition of the hired city manager. Right? Now, the purpose of the city manager was to not be a political figure. You understand? It was to be uh, a manager, you understand, like a manager of a business, because a city is a business, you understand. So, business cities that are more have more revenue coming in, have more money and things, more banks, you understand. These are the ones that tend to have city managers, you understand. Now, all cities don't have a city manager, you understand, but the ones that do, once the concept was developed in the, uh, I want to say the twentieth, twentieth century. Uh, once it was incorporated, you know what I mean? It was supposed to be somebody that didn't meddle in the politics necessarily. So we see the mayor is the chairman of the council. You understand? And then we have the city council, right? That's under the mayor. The mayor is over the council, mainly like a figurehead, you know what I mean? But the city manager conducts most of the day-to-day -day activities, you understand, like a the regular manager would. So they're actually the CEO, right? And the mayor is the figurehead, right? Now, in other cases where you don't have a city manager, the mayor acts as the manager, you understand? Like in New York, where you got those strong mayors that... You know what I'm saying? Run every goddamn thing. Be cricket and shit. You know what I mean? It's like New York. You know? This is what we call a strong mayor variation. Where the mayor holds most of the administrative authority. You understand? Then we have the council members. Right? And a strong council variation. Where the council holds most of the authority. You know what I mean? So it varies depending on what you talking about? What jurisdiction? You understand? Now we come to Kenley, North Carolina. Come to the website. Their motto is friendly, friendly Kenley. You understand? Friendly is is you know a word they they play on. You know what I mean? Friendly Kenley. You see? We come down. Boom, this is Kenley. We see Charlotte. We see Riley. Riley is the capital. We see Durham. You know what I mean? This is Kenley. Now, when we come here, we want to type in, 
the uh, coordinates for this city. What's interesting about this city, or this town, rather, is that when we look at the latitude, you understand, the latitude of this town are triple three fives, right? 35 degrees, 35 minutes, 35 seconds north is the latitude, right? Longitude, we're going to punch in 78 degrees, right? Seven minutes, 38 degrees west. And we'll see where we go. Boom. Takes us right off of Church Street, South Church Street. You know what I'm saying? In Canley, North Carolina. You see, 305 South Corbett Street. 35, 35, 35. That 3 eighths, my G. Which is 3 8. 3 eighths of an ounce. You understand? So we come here. What does 35 mean in numerology? Right, building something of value to society. The deep down basic essence of the numerology number 35 is building something of value to society. The number 35 is composed of the digits three and five. The foundation number is eight, right? Three plus five is eight, you see? Building something of value in society. Let's read this. Angel number 35 assures you that you will be supported and directed by angels through the challenges you may face during these transformations in life. More words. You know what I'm saying? 35, 35, 35. You see? Now, Candy means the king's meadow or the royal meadow right the king's meadow it's also a place in england right that's what it's named after kenley england you see in the uh london area right this is kenley England. Which is in the Metropolitan Green Belt. Right? For those that don't know what a green belt is, these are the green belts in um in, in London. A green belt is an area of open land around the city on which building is restricted. Right now, in zoning, uh, when we talk zoning laws and policies, right? Green Belt is a zoning policy, right? It's a policy and land use zone designation used in land use planning to retain areas of largely undeveloped wild or agricultural land surrounding or neighboring urban areas. You understand? So, basically, what the Green Belt policy is. When you build in cities or towns or whatnot, you have to leave some type of wilderness. You have to leave some type of woods or something like that surrounding the area. You understand? Because you got to preserve, first of all, the fucking oxygen so you can breathe, nigga. You know what I mean? You got to have trees and shit, but you got to preserve some type of wildlife. You know what I mean? You can't just build all cities and railroads and highways and shit. You understand? It's called the Green Belt Policy. But this is also the green belt, family. You see? Marking the level of proficiency in judo, karate, or other martial arts. 
you see below that of a brown belt All right these are the green belts you see now in martial arts the green symbolizes the improvement of the student right as they begin their journey or continue along the journey of growth and development. But as we read, it says a martial arts student improves, he receives a green belt. The green belt represents the growth of a seed that sprouts upward, becoming a plant. Like the sprout, the student is becoming something greater. Green belts can be found in karate, taekwondo, and judo. You understand? We've got blue for the sky. You understand? Growth and development. We got purple for the sky. Growth and development. You understand? We got brown, red, etc. So, we'll give it another look right here. This is actually the order. You understand? Starting with the white, which is fresh. You understand? That's a novice. That's new booty. You understand? On to the kick ass. You understand? Grand master. You see? Or the master. Now you got different degrees of black belt. You actually got two uh, systems of belts. You understand? You got the Caillou set. And then you got the Dan set. Which are the uh, black belt degrees. You understand? Now the green belt is right here. Right. Moving on. Bring it back to Kenley. Right. This is uh, from the website. This is the history of Kenley. It says, the beginnings go back to 1885 when the owners of the Wilmington and the Weldon Railroad purchased the right-of-way on the track of land owned by Charlotte Watkins. You understand? Referred to in later deeds as Lottie. And Augusta Barney Watkins, you understand? Charlotte Watkins, we want to take note of that. Let's see. Now, Charlotte Watkins brings me here. Charlotte Douglas Airport. You understand? Charlotte Douglas International Airport. So we took it down. In the land of the queen, my G. You know what I'm saying? Charlotte Douglas. You see? More worse one. You come here, city of Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? City of Charlotte. most popular city in North Carolina. It was the home of the Catawbas, you understand? And you also had other people there like the Cherokee and, you know, et cetera, Adina Shannon, you know. But we wanna look here too, take note of this. Charlotte is the second largest banking center in the United States after New York City. Damn, did you know that? Second largest banking center, so that's a very important city. Home to the Panthers, the Hornets. You see? Boom. The Queen City. Home of the NASCAR Hall of Fame. You see? Now, this is from City of Charlotte website. You see? Charlotte is one of the 25 largest cities in the U.S. and the largest city in North Carolina. Nicknamed the Queen City, Charlotte and its resident county are named in honor of Charlotte of Mecklenburg Strelitz, the Queen Consort of British King George III during the time of the city's founding. You understand? The Queen City. 
ranks first among top 10 cities with the best employee engagement. 